did you say? Nothing. It don't matter. I want to know what you meant. No, you don't, so. Where are you going? Um, just go back to the party. Not until you told me why you said that. Yeah. What a joke. You were angry. Look, why don't we go back to the party, yeah? And we could tell Belinda about when we went to Brighton and we trashed that bloke's flat. You said you were my mother. <laughs> it's not it. Is. Please. Leave it so. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. Is it true? Finish what you're saying! I can't. Why not? I don't know where to start. How about the bit where you said you're my mum? Cat, <sighs> please. Just tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening to me at first. I knew I felt funny. And I just ignored it. I was nearly four months gone before I realised I was pregnant. I've never been so scared in all my life. I thought if I ignored it, it might go away. I pretended it wasn't happening. Then I started getting bigger. Couldn't do the zips up on my skirt. I had to start using safety pins. Baggy jumpers, padded coats. <laughs> PE was a nightmare. I didn't know where to go or who to talk to. And it seemed. Every night when Lynn was going out, Dad was telling her to be careful with the boys and not get in trouble. <laughs> and there was me, sitting next to him four months pregnant. Do you know that fear? It's like, it's like an electric shock. When you can't breathe properly. And your heart is pounding so hard, you think everyone in the room can hear it. So? I didn't really have any mates. I thought I could tell with something like this too anyway. So I decided to run away. It was the only thing I could think of doing. See, I was getting bigger, see? It was only a matter of time before people started noticing. I don't think I ever felt so alone. Not lonely, 
because I was surrounded by people, but on my own, you know? So I couldn't have a conversation with anyone without thinking, if only you knew and what they'd say if they did. So one night I nicked 20 quid out of Dad's money bag, packed everything that still fit me in a bag and weighed. I don't think I'll ever forget that night. I thought it was going to be my last night. I sat on the set eight with my feet curled underneath me, watching everyone. <sighs> Little man Belinda fighting over something in the corner. Dad telling him to shush while he was trying to watch telly. And Lynn, sitting by Mum's chair, rubbing her feet. And then Nan coming in with fish and chips. Everyone arguing over who ordered what. And then I was sitting there eating them out of the paper. And that warm feeling you get in your lap from the chips. Oh, it was the best place to be in the world and I was leaving. So I went to bed. Didn't bother getting undressed, there was no point, was there? Just pulled the covers over me and waited. And listened as everyone went to bed one by one. I remembered muffled voices coming from Mum and Dad's room. I couldn't make out what they were saying. But I remember Mum laughing. I remember that laugh. Our last laugh, Grandad used to call it. <laughs> and then she stopped. And it all went quiet. We was on our own then. Just you and me.